Oh my God, right when you picked it up, like $25 just blew away. $250. <laughs> my name is Scott, I live and breathe pizza. But Mark is a pizza purist. This is not pizza. Mm. It's not pizza. Mm. I'm about to kick you out. I'm trying to bring him the craziest pizzas I can find. They all claim to be pizza, but are they really though? Yo, Mark, you down here? Hey, Mark, check this out. I got a pizza whoa, for whoa, you. Whoa, 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 Did you just touch my machine? <laughs> yeah, someone by Wall Street's making like a $2,000 pizza. What? It's like covered in gold, it's got truffle, it's got Stilton cheese, it's got foie gras. Foie who? Foie gras, foie you've foie never gras. heard of foie gras? All right. I'm gonna go get it, you'll eat it with me? Are you paying for it? Listen, I'll figure out how to pay for it later, we'll deal with it. You want my credit card? It's already in my pocket, I'll see you later. Old pizza. So I came down over here to Wall Street to check out Industry Kitchen for their 24K pizza. I'm gonna go check it out, meet the chef, take a bite. Hey, are you Chef Braulio? Yes. Hey, I'm Scott. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. We're here to try this 24K pizza you guys got. Definitely. Take a seat, wait for me like 10 minutes, and you will have Sounds nice good. and crispy. Sounds good, thanks. Cool. And so I waited and tried to wrap my brain around the opulence of the pizza being prepared for me. A pie top with gold? I've heard about this pizza before. I'm rolling my eyes a little bit because it's like, pizza should be affordable. Mark is going to be baffled by this pizza. This goes against everything in his body. Sauce, cheese, and dough. Pizza tastes best served right out of the oven. 500 degrees across the board. A pizza should look better than it tastes. No exceptions. For Mark, this is not gonna be a pizza. But I've seen that guy eat like Domino's, so. I'm gonna start with the black dough, made with squid ink from India. We're gonna stretch down the pizza dough. You don't even taste the ink, but you feel that texture. We are gonna add some olive oil to make it crispy and keep the color. I use this pedal to avoid the bubbles. Then we're gonna add a Stilton cheese. It is the second most expensive cheese in the world. This is delicious, it's smell. Cheese is melted, nice spread, we're gonna cut. We're gonna ask the most expensive quadra from France, a little crumbles. I love it. This is fresh truffle, like you see. The next step is tape with the gold. I love gold. Everybody needs to eat gold. All I want to see is still gold, everything, everywhere gold. I don't want to see cheese, I don't want to see it gold, 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 gold. Every bite has to be tasty, tasty, tasty. This is amazing, this is crazy. All you see in this pizza is edible. Hey, Scott. Oh, my. How are you? <laughs> this is a $2,000 pizza, the most foreign famous in the world. This is insane. This is insane. This is insane. It's without a doubt the craziest pizza that I've ever, ever seen in my life. Well, I gotta get you in there, gotta get you in there. Okay, you're making me dizzy, hold on, I gotta. Okay, I'm having a lot of feelings. I'm feeling like I wish I could, I wanted to. I can't believe I'm about to eat a gold pizza. All right. Dreaming. This is insane. It's way tastier than I can imagine, really. Cheese is the strongest element of this pizza. The gold is a total visual thing. My eyes, I, mean, I don't know you what gold feel. tastes like. Yeah, you don't feel. Have you licked a gold bar before? Nope. Me either. To me, this is interesting because it takes the concept of what a pizza is and it flips it. We've got a crust, and now we have the Stilton cheese, which is actually acting more as a sauce on this because it's the base that's holding everything together, and then the gold acting as really like the cheese. It's the it's the cheese representation. But for me, pizza, I mean, the crust is everything. You can pour whatever you want on top, but the crust is everything. So it's a softer and spongier crust. Yeah. For being baked out of this wood-fired oven. Is 
this a standard dough recipe just with squid ink? This is a special flour from Italy. Has to be from Italy because pizza is from Italy, right? I mean, I've eaten a lot of pizza in Italy. I've never seen anything like this. When you serve it, it's it's room temperature. It's not a hot pizza, right? It's not really hot because we have to finish it in the end. So right. the caviar is going to get bad. You baked first and then built afterwards. Mm -hmm. The cheese is the only thing that's on the pizza when it bakes? Yes. Okay. You are baking the dough with something on top of it. So for me, that fits the bill. So what do you think? This is pizza for you? It's the weirdest pizza I've ever had. Yeah, but it's pizza. Yeah, I mean, it's, without a doubt, it's pizza. I mean, I've had things that tasted a lot worse that were also considered pizza, you know? Do you find that pizza is where you are most creative as opposed to burgers or salads or other dishes? Yes, because I love pizza. I love pizza. You can do whatever you want with pizza. It's affordable for everyone. So you for know what you can uh, we give 10% for the city harvest. Oh, really? From, from every the, pizza? Every 24 pizza, we donate 10% for the city harvest. That's awesome that you guys do that. Yeah. I didn't know that. So, this thing doesn't look like any pizza I've ever had, but this is absolutely, without a doubt, a pizza. I don't know if Mark's going to agree with me, but we'll have to ask him to find out. All right, man, let's cash it in. Here we go. This is 24 karat gold pizza. This is the $2,000 pizza. They burnt it. It's not burnt. It's black because it's got squid ink in it. In the dough? Yeah, in the dough. Cut this thing up. Come on. I feel like you should cut it, you want me okay? To cut it? Yeah, man, this is your place. We're under your insurance right. right now. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a fishy smell now. Yeah? Well, you've got caviar on top. Hey, I've already had this before. Oh, you've had it before? Yeah, man, right. I just had it. It tastes like gorgonzola. What other flavors are you getting besides cheese? That's it. It's very overpowering. Oh, let's see what we got here. It's kind of like an Oreo cookie. It's a little tough. Yeah. The dough. And it's really, really chewy. Has no crisp to it. I mean, you, you don't taste the gold. I mean, and again, the truffles is overpowered by the cheese. And there's very little caviar. And then once you get, you know, a mouthful of caviar, then that stands out. It's a super pretty pizza. But it's not really pizza. What, what do you mean? That's not a pizza dough. There's no sauce. Is there anything about this that it doesn't is a pizza? taste like pizza dough? The texture is not pizza dough. It's very rubbery. It's got a fishy taste to it. Is a squid ink dyed pasta still pasta? Yes. Is a squid ink dyed pizza dough still pizza dough? No. Why is it not a pizza dough if it's black? Because you don't put squid ink in pizza dough. What about if you were buying this by the slice, how much would you pay for one slice of that? I would. You're gonna pay $2,000 for a pizza. What do you expect to be on it? To be on it? <laughs> no. <laughs> so what? No, 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 forget yes. that, don't say that. <laughs> that is a no dice. Well, I think we have a solution here. Not a pizza for Mark, yes a pizza for me. I guess I've been outvoted by you. Are you gonna give me this? No. Uh, you can try it for yourself, pool your life savings, get the 24K pizza. Thanks for watching Thrillist. You can see us eat more of these crazy pizzas here on Really Dope. The goal's a little mineral. No, I wanna just eat those. That's like, you figured it out. You get my joke. Is there any ingredient that's not on this that you wish that you could put on there? Diamonds. Diamonds are sharp. Maybe in a couple of years.